that you can get spiked at almost any percent, and if it's too low of a percent, he'll spike you twice. Yeah, why? Like, like, oh, here's one. You wanted one. Here's two. Got you two. Occasionally, you'll see the Diddy Kongs where he'll do the the back throw near the ledge into spike, spike. Yeah. Mostly Joe Bones. Um, Falcon does that to Bowser, mm -hmm. and it feels bad. It feels so terrible. Just don't be off stage against Falcon or in Never. the air. Don't air dodge against Falcon ever Just don't, for any reason. Don't do anything. Pick your secondary. But we are going to see um, Mewtwo here. Um, I Fox just... I think Fox Bayonetta is really tough for Fox. That's just me. I'm, I'm not an expert by any means, but like, I feel like Fox's weight just means that he just... He gets comboed forever. Comboed, yeah, forever. He took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, so instead of Fox, we're taking a quick trip to DLCville, as you see in the background. And that is just where we're at. Uh, Bushi's Bayonetta, possibly the best Bayonetta in the Midwest. If not, it's very close. It's between him and Tyroy. Yeah. And, well, I mean, the thing with Tyroy is that we're never really sure what we're going to get from Tyroy. When he's on, he's real on. But when he's off, it's just like, who are you? Meanwhile, we got this Mewtwo that we've seen a lot of from Demitus. He had a close one against Slenderman. A real narrow, close call that was almost an upset. All right, these these players he's, he's feeling each other out. He's certainly more intimately familiar with Bushi though than he ever would be with uh, Slenderman's Link. So yeah, that's true. These guys have played against each other quite a bit. Although for Bushi, it's a new experience every time. I swear, because he's played against so many different right? Demitus characters. All right, so we are at an impasse until the no. fist from the earth. We are not at an impasse. <laughs> yeah, I was that. There's that commentator's curse. <laughs> oh. We, Jeez, Demitus, I'm we sorry. We are a wall breaker. When you watch this later, I'm so sorry. It, right, it'll never be as bad as, uh, as uh, Midwest Mayhem 5 commentator curse. Or 4. We, we, me and Sturm just destroyed people's hopes and dreams. Shadow Claw, and we're back in it. Yeah, that, that I mean, was a raw one. Didn't even yeah. set it up. Just said, you know what, Bushi? You're not going to move. You're going to take this. It's going to feel bad. And we're going to go to last stop. I uh -oh. mean, and I mean, Bayonetta things. If if Bayonetta was a Pokemon, I, I gotta imagine that she'd be like either Ghost or Psychic type. So it's probably super effective. Yeah, probably Ghost Fairy. Psych! So oh my gosh, I wanted it so bad, and so did Demitus, but he just barely missed it. But don't be surprised if you see a couple more opportunities from that. Demitus is Mewtwo, or actually, excuse me, Mewtwo is really floaty, and Demitus likes to spend time off stage. He's one of the Best people in Chicago at wanting to go off stage, so don't be surprised if we see a couple more spike attempts. Additionally, Bushi tends to recover low, knowing that Bayonetta actually has technically better recovery than Villager. As he gets those Bayonetta things, and the stilettos right into Mewtwo's tail. Feels real, real bad sometimes. Game one goes to Bushi. Yeah, that's not surprising, though. Like I, I felt like whoever caught like the first advantage was really going to... Like take that one, and I, I, I think that's how it's all gonna go. Like all semis, like all three games, if it does go three games, is it just whoever finds the early advantage is gonna keep pushing it. Chicago has this tendency to go pretty much one through eleven. You never know what you're gonna get in a best of three. Our seating, like we know what the skill levels are, but as a TO in Chicago, you can't seat an event correctly. If you do, it was an accident. <laughs> because there's always somebody who comes to play harder than the rest. Well, that was just like, what was it, last week, Poplar, that like, in doubles seated perfectly in winners? You'll, that was that was a unicorn. You will never see that again. It's because everyone plays against everyone so often that it's they just have so much experience, so on any given day, they can just have the read on that guy. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter how good you are. If you someone plays you enough, they're going to find a way in. That's why I love this scene so much. All right. Bushi getting behind a little bit. A lot of little pokes in there. Oh, oh, Shadow Ball. That is not a poke. Demitus with the hard read. Yeah, um, I'm really surprised that the that hard read there actually kind of happened um, most of the time. Most of the time, I have to say that Demitus is... I'm sorry, I'm just really distracted here. We had a little bit of a technical difficulty, guys, so we are trying to sort no, that out. No, we are good. We are yeah, good to we're go. back. All right. We got one stock game here. Very even. These guys really have just not been able to feel each other out, so now they're just going for things. We saw that Demitis Shadow Ball hard read a minute ago. Uh, we've seen some Bayonetta things. Bushi does know how to catch Demitis sleeping a little bit, but it's hard to just stay away from all of Bayonetta's tricks. 
That's one thing that I haven't been seeing a lot from Demitis, is a lot of nares. He's, he's been really shying away from that. Even though Mewtwo can get a lot off of it, he hasn't really felt the need for it because he's been doing so much work with the Shadow Claw. Oh that my fair. god! Oh my god! That, that was, was all dope. so disgusting! That was dope. The bullets into the Bayo combo for the straight kill. Yeah, that, and that was incredible. Even for those people who don't... I blinked. Like, yeah, right? For those who don't even like the Bayo combos, the setup for that. Yeah, gotta respect everything Bushi just did. That was disgusting, and he will be moving on to Losers Finals to play against Unrivaled Tournament's own Ned.